All right, this exercise is about actions, <clears throat> which are very similar to conditions in many ways, but they uh, have one important difference, if not many, but say one at least, and that is that actions may provide new variables back to rules. And we can see this if we look at existing actions, we have something here called fetch entity by ID. It has parameters just like uh, conditions, but it also has provides here. And that's interesting and useful. And uh, you should create yourself an action that takes a mass of text, replaces all occurrences of uh, uh, a list of words, say if alpha, beta or gamma uh, occurs in the text, then it should be replaced with uh, a given string that, that you can set. For example, bleep. Let's see if I can make this happen here. I have a com component set up, component temporary. Uh, that replaces, well, it does just uh, this, uh, checks for, for these configured words and replaces them with bleep. This uh, uh, alpha action uh, should work. Execute. And it says this bleep action should work. Uh, I'll put the result here. Um, yeah, okay, so um, that's an interesting exercise. The suggested solution here became a bit long, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I've added a, a pretty useful link that you can uh, check out uh, and read online instead of listening to a long screencast. And there's also pretty good step-by-step -step instruction you can try. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, code is also pasted, so you can use that if you want. That's it. Good luck. Have fun.